Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square APQC along with this uh, golden uh, triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this circle with the center O is uh, confined uh, in between them. These points uh, D, E, F uh, are the points of tangency and moreover the side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, 8 uh, units whereas the radius uh, of this uh, circle is uh, 2 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, golden uh, right uh, triangle ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step I have connected the center O with these points D e and uh, f and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees so no wonder all these uh, angles are uh, 90 degrees since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines and now keep in your mind that the radius uh, of this uh, circle is uh, two units so no wonder this of OE and uh, OD equals to 2 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, square uh, EPFO uh, so therefore all uh, the sides of this square is going to be 2 units uh, across the board and now in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular TE that passes through the center O so therefore uh, this uh, length uh, EP is going to be equal to this uh, length uh, TQ. If this side length uh, is uh, 2 units, then this uh, length uh, TQ is going to be 2 units as well. And now let's assume that this uh, segment uh, BE is uh, X. And now let's recall the two tangent uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangents uh, segments are drawn uh, to one circle from the same uh, external point, uh, then they are uh, congruent. As you can see in this uh, diagram, this uh, BE and this uh, DB, they are uh, tangents. So therefore, according to this uh, two tangent theorem, uh, this uh, BE length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, BD length. If this length is uh, X, then this uh, side uh, is going to be X units uh, as well. So thus our DB length uh, is uh, X as you can see over here. And now in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, C. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, CTO. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, CTO. We know that this whole uh, side length uh, of this square is 8 uh, units. Then this whole uh, side length is going to be 8 uh, units as well. And we know that this uh, radius is uh, 2. So therefore... Uh, this uh, length uh, TO is going to be 8 minus 2 is going to give us uh, 6 and likewise uh, this whole uh, side length uh, is uh, 8 and this uh, side length uh, TQ is uh, 2 so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, CT is going to be 8 minus 2 is going to give us uh, 6 and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle uh, CTO and here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 6. So this point becomes 6 square. Likewise, b is 6 as well. So 6 square equal to c square. And if we simplify, c square turns out to be 72. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore c turns out to be equal to square root of 72 as i simplified over here turns out to be 6 times square root of 2 so therefore i can write c equals to 6 times square root of 2 so thus our this side length c o turns out to be 6 times square root of 2 and in this uh, next step, let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CDO whose uh, side lengths are uh, 2 and uh, 6 times square root of 2. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this side length uh, 
c d and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side c I'm gonna call this side a and this side lowercase b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is a square we don't know plus b is 2 whole square and c in our case is 6 times square root of 2 whole square and if we simplify 2 square turns out to be 4 and the square of 6 times square root of 2 is going to give us 72 let's go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides this is gone so a square turns out to be 68 let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides to undo this uh, square so therefore a turns out to be equal to 2 times uh, square root of uh, 17 as I simplified uh, over here so thus our this uh, CD length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 17 and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole side length of the square is 8 this uh, tiny segment is x uh, and this uh, ep length is uh, 2 so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, a b is going to be 8 minus uh, x and then uh, minus uh, 2 if we simplify that one that's going to give us uh, 6 uh, minus uh, x so therefore uh, this segment a b turns out to be 6 minus x now let's focus on this uh, golden triangle uh, ABC we know that this uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 2 times square root of 17 and this uh, tiny segment uh, DB is X so therefore this uh, whole uh, side length uh, of this golden triangle uh, turns out to be X plus uh, 2 times square root of 17 and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again let me go ahead and call our longest uh, leg as our side uh, C I'm gonna call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is uh, 6 uh, minus uh, x uh, whole uh, square plus b is uh, 8 uh, square equal to c in our case is x plus uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 17 whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2 a b plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on the left hand side on this binomial so therefore we're going to have uh, 36 minus 12 x plus x square and then uh, 8 square is 64 equals to and now let's recall another uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so therefore this could be written as uh, x square plus uh, 4 times uh, x uh, times square root of uh, 17 plus uh, square of this 2 times square root of 17 is going to give us uh, 68 and now we can see this x square and x square this is uh, gone and here in this uh, next step I have combined these uh, constant so we got 100 uh, on the left hand side now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 68 from both sides this is uh, gone so left hand side turns out to be 32 minus uh, 12 x uh, equals to 4 times x uh, times square root of uh, 17 now let's go ahead and move this uh, 12 x on the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see 4x uh, is in common uh, between these two terms so therefore we can write this one as 32 equals to 4x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 17 plus uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4 times uh, square root of 17 plus 3 on the right hand side uh, this cancel with this one 4 cancels uh, with this one on the left hand side uh, 4 divides into 32 8 uh, times so therefore our x value turns out to be 8 divided by 
square root of 17 plus 3. And now let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator to remove this radical from the denominator. So therefore we are going to multiply and divide by square root of 17 minus 3 on the top and the bottom as you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and multiply the numerators and the denominators as well. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b times a minus b is going to give us a square minus b square. We are going to apply it at the denominator. So that is going to give us a square root of 17 whole square minus 3 square. So we got 17 minus 9 equals to 8 at the denominator. So therefore x turns out to be equal to 8 times square root 17 minus 3 all over 8 and here we can see 8 and 8 uh, cancels out. Therefore our uh, x value turns out to be simply square root of uh, 17 minus uh, 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, side length uh, AB. I'm going to replace this uh, x value by square root of 17 minus uh, 3. As you can see in this uh, next step and let's go ahead now distribute this uh, negative uh, sign. So therefore this could be written as 6 uh, minus square root of uh, 17 and this is going to become a uh, positive 3. Let's combine these uh, like terms. So that's going to give us uh, 9 minus uh, square root of uh, 17. So therefore our this side length uh, AB turns out to be 9 minus uh, square root of 17. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, golden uh, triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base times height. And in our case our base is a 9 minus square root of 17 and our height is 8. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So area of this triangle is going to be a half times 8 times 9 minus square root of 17. So let's go ahead and simplify. So that is going to give us 4 times 9 minus square root of 17. Now let's go ahead and distribute. So therefore the area of this triangle turns out to be 36 minus 4 times square root of 17. So thus the area of this golden triangle turns out to be 36 minus 4 times square root of 17 square units and that is approximately equal to 19.51 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.